Welcome back to Better Living. I'm here with Annika from the Charles E. Boyk Law Firm. We are talking bikes for kids. This year's, or this year's winner, <laughs> this week's winner is a young guy, isn't he? Yeah, Just he's five, five years old. old. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. That's a cute age. Yeah. So he is five years old. He was nominated by the owner of his preschool, yes. right? Yeah. Tell he, me about um, him. Jeanette Bieber from Little Village Preschool has just watched him blossom. He, um, I'm not really quite sure the extent of the behavioral issues that he was going through, but he started at the school when he was three, and um, he was just, you know, screaming a lot and not getting along with the other kids. And they came up with a plan, and they worked with the parents, and they also worked with Harbor Behavioral Health. Okay. And um, he's doing amazing now, and it was, it's just, it. It's really cool to see the teamwork and to see what um, came of that, I guess. That's really awesome because at that age, that's hard for kids to stick to something like right. that. And for them to be rewarded will, I'm sure, pay dividends. dividends right? Oh my goodness, because now he is going to want to always do the right thing. Right, and we're hoping that every time he rides his bike, he'll remember yes. like that accomplishment. Um, and it was really cool yesterday when they were awarding the bike, they had the whole class come out and um, Miss Jeanette stood in front of everybody and she said, you know, here, there's one, one of you guys really came a long way. I know you guys are all great kids, but we want to recognize somebody special. And, and then they had Elliot stand up. It was really, really Cool, uh, so. I would have cried then too. Yeah. Uh, this is Elliot. How sweet is he? He is a darling little boy. Oh, and does it have training wheels? Does his little bike it, have training it wheels? It doesn't. And oh, I, talk... I thought it was standing up there. Well, it's on a kickstand, but then oh, we were okay. talking to the parents and we are going to have to okay. get a training wheels because <laughs> the, we, we just weren't sure. And then uh, once we saw just how little of a five-year-old he is, yeah. I mean, he's a tiny guy. I don't um, remember if my kids could ride bikes at five-year-old. That is That seems young to yeah. be able to... I, yeah, I can't remember but that. But there's mom and dad, oh, and she was just so proud of him. And when we were talking to her, talking to the mom, Heather, yesterday, um, I had asked her what advice she can give um, to other parents dealing sure. with, like, some of the same issues. And she's like, just never give up. Oh. And I think that that's a really good lesson for all of us. Like, I think every, seeing all these kids and how they just have the resilience yeah. that they do... I don't know, I, t I took a lot away from that yesterday. You know, it's just, sometimes we just have to never give up. Yeah. And just and keep going know, even when you don't want to. As parents, you do sometimes feel like, oh, it's just never gonna, yeah. whatever stage you're in. Yeah. You know, whether it's when they're young and they're in those terrible twos, or, you know, if you're, we were just talking, you and I were just talking about Kelly. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, you have a young one, um, I have four, mm -hmm. and to be a parent and have somebody tell you that your child has cancer, I, I, I can't imagine. I mean, I, I, I cannot imagine what I would do. And to just have to say to yourself, uh, you know, you, you can't give up. Yeah. And I remember her mom saying last night, you know, she's such a fight. She's so strong. Mm -hmm. And um, it would be, uh, it would be really hard. And and that is great advice from that mom yeah. to, to never give up. And, and what a, you know, we talk about how great these kids are. Right. And Elliot, you are, if you're watching, you are a fantastic <laughs> little boy and you're doing great things. But, um, what a great teacher. Yeah. You know, what the a great teacher school. to put that plan into place and to know that this is a great way to get the behavior that she needs in school so yeah. that she can have a fantastic learning environment. Right. And also, too, I mean, one cool thing about Little Village is they're trying to teach, they're not only trying to teach kids good behavior, but they're trying to teach them about their own emotions right. and about, like, what behavior is and how you um, I guess deal with some of the stresses of being a kid. So it's not just like don't scream, it's here's how we can help you prevent your screaming, you know, and it, it was just I don't know, I, I just I, I really, I really want to applaud that school because they Absolutely. do a fantastic job. They're doing a great job and they're helping kids get learned behaviors that will help them right. well past preschool. Preschool, right. Will help them once they get into elementary and have um, successful educational yeah. careers. Yeah. I think it, and the kids have now learned how to help each other too and recognize that type of, those types of behaviors and how to prevent them. So they're all, I don't Congratulations. know. Congratulations. Yeah.
Way to go, uh, Little Village Preschool, and uh, way to go, Elliot, because yeah. you're doing some great things. So let's uh, remind people how they can nominate someone. Bikes for Kids Toledo .com. Bikes for Kids Toledo .com. Again, We need nominations. We do. A lot. Because we, we have how many? We've given away three with three weeks now, right? Yeah, seven weeks left. Seven weeks left. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of bikes still to give away. And of course, Hortz Tools does yeah. the fantastic helmets that make sure that they fit kids yes. correctly. And we use them. We want to make sure you are wearing your helmets <laughs> when you're outside riding your bikes this summer. We want to yeah. keep everybody safe. Um, so we will give those away still. Bikesforkidstoledo.com. And it's a really simple nomination yep. film, right? 150 words or less. Just tell us what the kid has done uh, to make a difference in the life of somebody else. It can be something really simple. It can be something extraordinary. We just want to hear the stories. And so far this year, it's all been people that have not been related to the winners. Exactly. Which is different. Than yeah. Last year, yeah. it seemed like there were a lot of related, right. you know, a lot, a lot of, of parents, members. a lot of family mm -hmm. members. So anyone can nominate. Parents, teachers. Peers, I mean, you don't have, there's no age limit yeah. to nominations, so. If you see anyone doing the right thing, any child, whether they're your family member, friend, peer, uh, co-worker, kid, yeah, whatever, anyone. please nominate them, bikesforkidstoledo.com. We want to give away some bikes to some deserving children in our neighborhood and the places that we live. We want to give them away. We'll be right back.